children heart is a beating pump heart is perhaps the most efficient pump made by god and you won't believe but in an average life span of a human being this pump that you see in front of you has the ability to pump around 7500 liters of blood that's a lot 7500 liters of blood is equivalent to three tankers of water imagine so this is the amount of blood heart is able to fill these tankers in our lifetime and because of this ability now you will be able to understand the structure better i'm never going to give you facts directly we are going to understand the why of everything children be with me now whenever whenever there is mobility whenever there is pumping action it has to be muscular it has to be muscle okay so how are we able to move our hands our legs wherever you see mobility there is the action of there's a major action of muscle so heart is a muscular organ is not a mere statement for you you know why the structure of anything in biology my children is based on its function what it has to do okay so heart is a highly muscular organ it is a very specialized muscle that we are going to talk about in detail in our upcoming sessions talking about the embryonic layers in animal kingdom you have studied yeah in tissues also you must have studied that the organization yes so they exhibit human heart exhibit triploblastic organization the germ layer organization is triploblastic organization yeah so it is derived from three layers in the embryo so there is the ectoderm the mesoderm and the endoderm now you already know derm means layer derm is just the layer ecto i told you always outside yeah so the outermost is the ectoderm and then comes the this pink one is the mesoderm meso is the middle middle and the endo always means the innermost you can write it down innermost all right now children what happens is that heart i'm not going to let you mug this up so be with me drop your pens and listen to me we said that heart is a muscular organ yes we said that heart is a highly muscular organ and in the three layers of the embryo the muscles come from mesoderm yes the muscle the bone the cartilage it is all the blood vessels also they all come from mesoderm okay so no mugging up so first i'm going to go back for you first we ascertained that heart is a muscular organ we ascertained that heart is a highly muscular organ so what layer will give rise to the heart children it is nothing but the mesoderm let's go further now children where is the location of the heart this is very important to understand we have studied what the organ is what it is doing where is it yes yes we know heart is here but the exact location especially that you have studied the respiratory system so where is heart located this is your rib cage this is your thoracic cavity these are the lungs so what i want to tell you is that heart is located between the lungs but understand that it is tilted towards the left side it is tilted towards slightly tilted towards the left side with me on this left side are you clear now a human heart especially when around in the first week of your medical college if you enter a good medical college first week they are going to make you stand around a dead body 
and they will make you dissect the chest yeah the thoracic region and yes children i've done it it's fabulous you can actually hold the heart in the fist it is like this they will make you hold the heart so it is around 12 cm in size and approximately uh, like the fist of your hand okay now children what happens the layers of the heart now we have seen how the organ looks like what is the shape what is the size let's go a little bit inside now let's get a clearer picture now this organ is covered by three layers of course it has to be protected well it is the heart so the three layers are the pericardium the myocardium yes you can write it and endocardium so whenever you are taking a class with me let's have this code language between us whenever i want you to write something which is important for your learning and your exam i'm going to signal it to you okay before that you can just listen so pericardium cardium is the term for heart and i'm not going to let you let you muck this up peri is around okay we are going to go one by one through the layers so pericardium is peri word is periphery it means surrounding it means uh, around the organ so pericardium is covering the entire heart it's like a bag and a double layered bag do you see that i want you to appreciate that pericardium is actually made up of two layers what are you going to write double layered okay between the two layers my children between the two layers there you go there you go you have a fluid called as the pericardial fluid what do you have pericardial fluid ma'am what is the need of the fluid children remember heart is a mobile organ it is pumping continuously you can do that with me it is pumping continuously okay so it needs lubrication it needs cushioning effect so pericardium along with the fluid between the two layers which is lubricating the space it is also acting like a cushion for the heart for the moving pumping heart the next layer children is the myocardium okay the word myo is always for muscle <coughs> right this so in biology biology will become very easy for you if you start paying attention to the prefixes and the suffixes okay so myo means the prefix means muscle so myocardium is the cardiac muscle a very specialized muscle we are going to talk in detail about cardiac muscle when we move to the chapter of muscles the locomotion okay so myocardium is the muscular heart which is actually causing the movement very special muscle you see this is the myocardium part which is actually expanding and contracting expanding and contracting moving further you have the endocardium i have already told you endo is the inside part so this is actually the layer children now we are absolutely in the room yeah you were in the house then you saw the outer part of the room the inside of the heart all the chambers of the heart the blood which is here which is flowing in the heart endocardium is in contact with that it is the innermost layer now endocardium is the innermost layer 